All right, in this video, I'm going to show you all how to chop a sample. So first thing you really want to do is to make sure that you're in a track that hasn't been used at all for any kind of recording. So I'm on track three that hasn't been used. Track two has been used and track one has been used. So I'm on track three. One thing to make sure you got to make a new program. So make a new program. you have to create a new program that's gonna make the samples cut in and out to each other so I'm just gonna call it something simple that stands for sample all right next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to look for a sample to use so I'm going in my folders And yeah, I'm going to thumb through a couple of these. And if it's something large, it's going to take time. So. All right, why don't we try this one? When we put it in this pad right here, and it says load uh, name sample to pad 13. Go ahead and load it. All right, next thing you're going to want to do is I'm going to stop playing the, uh, the song or the beat. Uh, I am going to go to sound sample edit. And then from here, I got to listen through. Now, the zoom is kind of bad. It's not going to show the whole song when you zoom it it's just gonna show like a small amount the trick to that is that what you're gonna do is we're gonna trim the sample cool and you hit start and end to basically bring these um, ends uh, starters and enders to a specific point um, on the sample so you want to play it out you see the lines going and then I hit start and if you wanted to end right here you hit in like that so I want um which part do I want let's play it um, why don't we take this part and then what I'm going to do is I don't want any other part of the sample. I just want that. So I'm going to hit top right, move my uh, camera out the way, go to edit, and go to trim. So what's going to happen is it's going to just take that part that I selected of the sample and then delete everything else. And then, you know, it's, it's warning you that this is permanent. Hit yes. Cool. Now we have just that part of the sample. Now, if you want to create chops of the sample, what's next is we're going to make a ghost channel. So we're going to hit that the little page uh, button. Um, let me hit it again. This page button in between the cut and I think that's the uh, trim button. Let me let me see. Is this trim? Yeah, that is trim. Okay, so what we're gonna do is create a ghost sample, and we're going to create our first chop here. All right, create a ghost channel, a ghost um, uh, sample. Create another one. And then create another one. And that's it. Now, what we're going to do is load the sample. So you go to samples and memory, hit that. You go to the sample name, hit the arrow. And then this is the master sample right here. That's like the full trimmed one. 
and you play through which one uh, you want it sounds good so uh, basically alright so we're going to chop the sample bring one over here two to number 14 three right here and then now you hear how it's like kind of crossing each other when it when I trigger the sample so what we're going to do is make this program monophonic go to on and listen to the difference watch see it's, it's cutting into each other so now I'm gonna play the beat Now, at any point, if you want to edit the sample, again, like if, if you want the chops to be a little more uh, kind of on time or you feel like it's, you know, not good, you can just edit the ghost sample. And then I'm going to edit this ghost sample. Then I'm going to edit this one. And I'm going to go back. And I have to load uh, the changes. There we go. Let me see. Um, do I remember how to clear a pad? Oh yeah. When you all right, if you want to clear a pad, hold the pad, press play, and then clear the pad, press OK. So let's play the beat. Now again, if you want to go back and uh, change how it sounds, you can go back and just alter it again. Let's edit it again. Let's make it real short this time. Yep, and that's it. That's how you chop a sample. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.